Right guys, here's another quick one for you. Um, um, I've just on that track stacks tutorial. And during that, we created lots of different track stack instrument channel strips. And we saved them into the library. And when we did, we were saving them all into the default location when you save, which is user patches look. So it, we end up with a user patch library full up with stuff, but it's all mixed together. In here we've got synth channel strip presets we saved, but all types mixed together, bass synths, lead synths, string synths, pad synths. And they're mixed in here with drum machine channel strips, whether they're stacks or, or normal, you know, ones, whatever we have, we decide to save them. There are stack synths in here. There are also audio channel strips that we've saved. Whatever type of channel strip we save, they all go into user patches, all mixed together. They're not categorized into folders properly. Okay, now in the old Logic 9 tutorials, all of which apply exactly the same to this Logic 10, I spent a lot of time explaining the concept of these channel strip presets and their relationship to the other parts of Logic, which included saving them. And during that tutorial, I talked about not saving them to the user patches location, but saving them to the factory location. So if you create a base synth channel strip you can save it into synthesizer base and then it appears alongside other base synth channel strips okay and that's about saving to the factory location not to the user location now I'm just checking that let's revisit that now to see what's happened and, and what has happened is that logic's changed the factory location so this is how it works quickly I load a synth let's say punchy bass from the bass category put a little pattern on it I'll make this little bass. Okay, now I could tweak it, I could tweak the instrument. with this ES2 synth. It's, let me look at it. Okay, let's say that's my new sound. And I can use this compare button here, look, compare, to switch between what I've just edited and the original. Let's hear the difference. That's, that's the original. Here's my edit. Just ram up the distortion, I suppose. Okay, that'll do. That's my little edit. I've edited the channel strip preset from the library called Punchy Bass, and I could edit the effects, etc. You know, including I could put E, put E Q in it, make it more bassy. I don't know, whatever I like. Where's my new sound? So I save it. Save. Now Logic wants me to save it into the user location, jumbled up with all the other patches. Here's the new location for the factory. Ready? One, two, three. Mountain line disk, library, application support logic. But look, it's not in channel strip settings anymore. Channel strip settings are still there, divided into bus, input, instrument, master, output, and track. But they're all empty look, so I can only presume, I haven't investigated this, so I can only presume this is to make it compatible with the old Logic 9 songs or something, but anyway, it's now, everything is saved, all the library is in patches. Okay, so, Mountain Line Disk, Library, Application Support, Logic, Patches, it's an instrument patch we're saving, it's a synth, it's a bass, that's the original name, Punchy Bass, so I'll call it bun Punchy Bass, um, Distort, D-I-S-T, save. That's called punchy base distort. Refresh the library, right click on the blank, refresh the library. There's my new patch, punchy base distort. And it lives in the library, synthesizer's base, right next to the original punchy base. And I can flip between the two. And can, yeah, 
in the library. There's the original. And now on the fly, I'll switch to my original and then back to the uh, to my edit, then back to the original, then to the edit. Here's the edit. Here's the original. And now they live right next door to each other in the correct folder, synthesizer space. Do you get that? Okay. Uh, let's just show that location. Yeah. Mountain Lion. Library. Application Support. Logic. Patches. There it is. Patches. And I save it in whatever subfolder. Audio Patches. And these are instrument channel scripts, right? Audio Patches. Auxiliary. Bus. Input. Instrument Master or Output. Okay, so as I said in the old tutorial, if you saved this factory location, then you get organization. Your bases can go in base folders, your synth strings go in string folders, etc. You know, your voice channel strip presets you create go in audio voice, etc. But of course, we're saving to the factory location. Now if logic, God forbid should something should go wrong with your Mac and logic has to be reinstalled you'll lose those patches, so you want to back this patches folder up if you start saving your edited content in here. Back it up regularly, either do it manually or get your time machine to back it up all the time. Should you have to reinstall Logic, you can just drag this patches folder back from its saved location with all your own edits inside it, as well as the original factory ones. Logic will just overwrite, you know, it will, it will, it will blank when you drag this saved backed up patches folder into a new Logic install, Logic, or the Mac rather, should just say to you, well, look, all those patches are there already. What do you want me to do? Overwrite them? And you go, no. And then it'll only copy in the content that's the original stuff. You know? But anyway, whatever, back it up. Because if something goes wrong, you've lost all your juicy patches that you've created. Okay, And your stacks can go in here, of course, as well. So let's load up one of the stacks I did before. User patches. Dark flange, let's hear that one. Okay, and then I can save that, save, but now I'm going to save it not in the user location but mountain line. Library, application support, logic, patches, instrument, synth, pad. I'm, I'm going to put this in pad category, I could put it in strings. I'm going to save it in pad, and it's called dark flange, and I'm going to call it dark flange stack. So I know it's a stack. Save. Refresh the library. There it is in synthesizer pad dark flange stack. Do you, you get it now? Okay, there you go. That's the new location. And whatever we're doing in Logic, when we save these channel strips we create or we edit, boom, if we save them there, everything gets categorised nicely. Alright? Alright, that's just a quickie for you.